the last event of the first day all was a grueling test for the decathletes the 400 meters but one where dan o'brien was expected to pile the points on the rest of the field Edward Hamelainen of Belarus in the red and white was outside O'Brien and really it was going to be a test of the courage and determination of these two men. Dagard of Sweden, the pin-up boy of Swedish athletics at the moment, he was having an inspired first day. Alex Kruger of Great Britain, he'd had a very good high jump competition as well and he'd consolidated it with a 50-second 400 meters which left him in 12th place. But as far as this 400 meters was concerned, it was all about Dan O'Brien and Edward Hamelainen who was expected to challenge O'Brien for the medals here. Hamelainen on the outside in lane eight. O'Brien really looking as though he was struggling at this stage. Was his commitment and his heart failing him? Hamelainen it was who was coming through very strongly. Dagard was in second place. And O'Brien, a few question marks about his fitness after that 400 meters. So at the end of the first day, Dan O'Brien, in fact, had moved into the lead, 4,528 points, ahead of his teammate Chris Huffins of the United States, and Erkin Ull of Estonia in third with Hamelain in fourth. As far as Alex Kruger was concerned and British interest, he'd done very well indeed on that first day to finish in 12th place. 